so today we are looking at the instant os so here is the boot menu so let me quickly boot it in the live boot so this is a beta iso file so it's in a beta version and also i'm running it on a virtual machine which is a vmware with a 60 gb of hard disk 8 gb of ram and my cpu is i5 1240p so it's going to take like a two or three minutes to load up the desktop layout or the booting process will be taking like a two or three minutes so let's wait and uh, we, we need to make all those uh, features and all those things we need to check it out in the uh, desktop so let's wait and see so here we have the instant os so virtual machine detected would you like to switch to 1080p resolution i'm going to click on yes and it's going to take a few seconds and we should be seeing our desktop layout loading so here is our wallpaper and here you can click uh, on the installation and here is the welcome app so if you want to get started you can get all the information right here so i'm going to uh let's to see what happens we get here so these are all the applications you get the instant os so this is a beta is so far so here you should be seeing uh, some of the information here so here is the internet browser so i'm going to show you the uh, website and all the other things uh, which is related to the browser like the about support you should be getting some distro information and some browser information in the uh, firefox web browser i'm going to show most of the things in this video i will cover almost everything here so here is our web browser let's check the version so the latest version is uh, 128.0.3 of the firefox available right now and we are seeing the 110.0 so let's close the about and let me type in about support about support and here you can see its uh, build number is 2023 and uh, the distribution id is uh, Arch Linux, so it's based on Arch Linux here is the operating system theme and the Linux kernel you get is a 6.1.12 so the latest version Linux kernel is available right now is a 6.10 and here is some of the information let me show you so here are the RAM and disk space RAM and the uh, CPU which is already mentioned in the beginning so here it is 7.7 .7 GB disk space available is a 476 MB so here is some of the information if you want you can uh, read everything by pausing the video and the window protocol is uh, x11 and the desktop environment is a uh, instant wm target frame rate and uh, some other display resolution is available right here as you can see 1920 into 1080 with uh, 60 hertz and here is some of the other information if it's important for you you can just pause the video if it's not you can just skip this part and uh, get to the official website so let me try to uh, put the search term as an instant os and we should be getting the official website i'm using a vpn so that's the reason it says some random language i don't know what language it is so this is the website or the url to get to the official website which is uh, instantos.io you can directly type in in your browser and it will take directly to the official website so instant os it works fast and powerful so it's kind of fast so that's a good thing and also this is a beta version so it's not a stable version if you are a distro hopper and if you want to test a linux distro which is new so this is the new linux distro it's not the latest version but uh, in my channel it's a new linux distro because i covered almost like a 3000 videos i didn't make the video of this one so that's the reason i'm saying as a and also i'm mentioning it as a new linux distro so here is the instant os home and uh, it's based on arch linux so here is some of the information aimed at uh, power users everything lightning fast flexible and just works so it's pretty much fast but uh, i'm running it on a virtual machine so you already know how virtual machines uh, performs so it's not laggy or anything like that but i'm using a good uh, memory and uh, like a hard disk space and other also the cpu i have a good cpu and the hardware specs everything is latest uh, in my pc so it should be working without flawless here is a video 
I saw the video there is nothing in the video it's just a, a basic things if you want to get to the video you can just go to the official website and get all the information so here is the overview and uh, power user friendly ultra lightweight feature rich so you don't get much of the bluetooth applications so i'm going to show you all those things so here is the instant os beta 7 released so i don't know when it was released you can just go to the website and get all the information so here is the downloads so it's the beta 7 you can download from the github or you can choose the uh, other mirrors here let me show you so here you need to have this much of system requirements 5.8 gb storage 64 bit processor potato or better so you already know it's uh, low end you can reuse it on the low end pc or even better also so you already know what you call it as a potato pc so here are the system requirements so in my point of view you should be having uh, 1 gb 2 gb of ram you should be running this linux distro and uh, about the processor 64 bit processor like uh, maybe dual core pentium should be also working properly and here is the cli installer so if you want to install you can do that here is the 32 bit here is the nix packages and uh, instant nix uh, github repo i'm seeing a wallpaper here i think there is a bit of uh, freeze or some glitch there because in the background of the firefox web browser there is a wallpaper so it's a bit of glitchy there so it's kind of looks and runs uh, almost good but there is a bit of uh, lag and uh, the wallpaper is popping up as you can see when i scroll it down so it's uh, not that much of smoothly working but it's still going to be working properly when you use it on the old pc also so here is the documentation let's get the documentation so there is a lag as you can see it should be sometimes the uh, issue from the vmware or sometimes the and also you need to understand this is a beta iso file you should be facing some issues like this one which is happening right now so we can't exactly uh, say it's a stable iso file but it's a beta version so you need to understand there will be some minor issues bugs and all those things so you need to understand that and don't try to install it on the main pc or work pc and also if you already have the stable linux distro running properly don't try to ruin anything because you already have the good uh, operating system running so if you are a distro upper, you can test it on the virtual machine and also you can try it on the live boot so let's get back let me show you the download and let me show you the iso file of the instant os the download should be started here so the iso file is 1.4 gb so it should be a less iso file too so I think we covered everything from the website. If you want the roadmap and about, you can just click on here and uh, you should be getting all the information of the instant OS. So here it is. So 40% less uh, original and I'm not going to say anything here because uh, it should trigger the monetization. So I'm not going to say anything here. So here you can see it's uh, showing the click here to install because the installation is in the background and uh, there is a bit of glitch so this is a beta version so you need to understand that so let's see what are the applications you get from the instant os before that let me show you some information here so here is the neofetch operating system instant os i'm running it on a vmware which i already mentioned here is the kernel here is the uptime here is the packages shell bash resolution desktop environment and themes icons you already know all those things let me close this uh, application and let's let me show you the pre-installed applications so these are all the pre-installed applications you get so you don't get any bluetooth or anything you just get the basic things from the instant os so here is the installation you can open the terminal and uh, type in some commands if you want for example uname dash a so here we have our kernel so let me try the inxi so inxi is not pre-installed so neofetch is pre-installed let me show you neofetch let's try the htop so here you can see the CPU, the RAM, 
so the ram is consuming almost like a 730 mb and here is the cpu so on the resource side it's not consuming that much but it's in a beta version so you should be seeing a minor issues like a lag and uh, some pop-ups or something like that so you should be facing that much uh, like a glitches and all those things but if it's uh, stabilized well you shouldn't be facing any issues because uh, it's a bit of lightweight also so you shouldn't be facing anything and also as they mentioned in the website you, you can run it on the low-end pc also and you can consider it as the lightweight linux distro so i'm going to close this and also here is the installer let me open the installer let me double click let's see what we get here so beginning installation you don't get the i think you don't get the calamarus installer let's see so preparing installation so it says as a please wait let's see so it's downloading installer dependencies in the uh, under the corner here left side corner i don't know how much time it is going to take here is the applications so i don't think there is nothing to show here so here are some applications like a neowin and some pulse volume controller so you can use the keyboard for the uh, choosing other applications here so instant welcome we can open it and if you want to get started you can watch the video here are the settings let's see the settings and here are sound display the network install software bluetooth appearance so you get all the basic uh, useful uh, settings and all those things let's check the appearance and application appearance wallpaper let's try to choose some wallpapers generate a new wallpaper let's see what we get here let me close it so it said it's it was generating from wallpapers but uh, we don't see anything here let me open the applications let's choose some other things here let me show you the file manager I don't see anything here so here is the file manager let's check the version and it's not working so let's check other things desktop downloads I don't know something is happening in the background it's not even opening any of the about section or the the screenshot taking options or the properties anything like that so it is stuck like this so that's the reason I always say whatever it says in the official website don't try to uh, directly install it on your main PC or work PC. So if it's a beta version you should be understanding that there will be some bugs some issues with the uh, beta version. So it's quite common so you need to wait until the stable version or else if you want to try it you can try it in the virtual machines. So here is the welcome to instant OS installer click on next I hope at least it works let me close the file manager and also the wallpaper is changed because it took a bit of time there so here is the language selection i'm going to choose the united states english and uh, here is the mirror selection you can choose whatever you want i'm going to choose the australia and it's going to download the install dependencies is this system a virtual machine i'm going to say yes vmware so I'm not going to install because I need to make a video and also I'm not going to show you the installation because I don't want you to uh, try that also because it's a beta version some of the viewers will try so I'm not going to do that so I think there is nothing to show here in the video because the users have the basic applications and nothing other than uh, some of the applications and the installer is here so let's check the here is the installer let's check this uh, third workspace so you don't get anything here and also it's a beta version so i want to give you the information of new linux distro so i gave the information of the linux distro so it's a beta version and it looks like this so that's my point of view to make this video i'm not going to install and uh, show you how it works because it's a pointless thing it's a beta version and i don't know when it will be released so that's the reason it's uh, a pointless to install and show you everything and also it's a beta version so i don't want you to try 
if you want to try to try it in the virtual machines but uh, if you are a normal user don't even don't even try to uh, go with this linux distro so if you already have a good, uh, if you are trying if you want to try a new linux distro there are a lot of uh, good linux distros which are well known you can try those linux distro instead of this linux distro but if you are a distro upper you can try it and uh, test it in your pc if you installed it do let me know in the comment section and i'm going to end the video here because of uh, nothing to show here so you don't get anything here you just get the basic things and also it it is stuck here so it completely froze and there was a bit of lag there so you need to understand there will be some issues and again it stopped working i can't move my keyboard and anything here so i'm going to end the video here thanks for watching peace out so it's not even shutting down so i'm going to close the uh, vmware here and again i forgot to mention that uh, this is my final thoughts that uh, it's a beta version the, those are my final thoughts i'm not going to say anything about it because it's a beta version you can't say anything wrong here because uh, you should understand that's uh, in a development process and i don't know when it will be released uh, the stabilizer file so if i get any information i'm going to let you know so again thanks for watching peace out